After a two year hiatus, AIDS Walk New York returns this Sunday. The COVID-19 pandemic forced the walk to go virtual, but now thousands will gather in Central Park for the world's largest single day HIV and AIDS fundraiser on Sunday. Money raised goes to support the work of Gay Men's Health Crisis or GMHC. The group has led the fight to end HIV and AIDS for 40 years, providing support for prevention, education and other community services. CBS 2 News is a proud media sponsor of AIDS Walk New York. And joining me now is Krishna Stone, Director of Community Relations for Gay Men's Health Crisis. She attended the first AIDS Walk back in 1986 in New York and has worked at GMHC for 29 years. Ms. Stone, thanks so much. And first off, you were there for the first one back in 86. The difference between then and now and how it has grown. Well, it's a pleasure to be here, and it's nice to see you again, Chris, and thank you all so very much for being our media sponsor. So, yes, I was actually uh, there in 1986, and I was so moved by the amount of people who had come to Lincoln Center. It was at the band shell at Lincoln Center the first year, first couple of years, and I was just blown away because by that point, uh, in 1986, I had already started to lose friends, colleagues uh, due to AIDS-related complications. So to see that amount of people who were there, who were glad to be there, who wanted to raise money and to fight AIDS, uh, it was just outstanding. And so I was so moved that I started to then volunteer at GMHC. I was then hired in 1993. And was that the reason uh, that you got so involved so soon back in, in the mid-80s, because you had so many friends that were affected by HIV and AIDS at the time? Yes. It, it, you know, I, I think of those early years as like a hurricane going through the city, uh, you know, with a, like whether it was a quietness of, of death and illness and stigma and pain and it was it was just devastating and i was a very big uh, uh fan of going to dance clubs I, I still enjoy dancing and but i would go one week and you know i would see the dj or bartender and then i would come back the next week and they were gone it was just like gone and so it had a quiet devastation and the impact was just unbelievable and i think that um that's what made it so painful is that people were leaving, you know, just dropping, you know, quickly, week after week after week. Uh, and while this is the 40th year of GMHC and the 41st year of the epidemic, uh, we still see, you know, the rates of infection in particular populations that are still continue to rise. Uh, some of the infection rates in other populations have stabled off and off and for some declined, yet we still have much more work to do. It's, it's so interesting how you talk about that, how the stigma that was associated with it back in the 80s, how you really, it, there was such a mystery around HIV and AIDS, and it was almost as though you didn't want to be near, or it, it, I, there was just so, so much scary talk back then. I remember, obviously, being in high school and college when, when we're talking about this time in the 80s and the early 90s. How much different is it now for you when you're organizing this event? It's such a massive event. I guess the, the interest and in getting people to support it, it's got to be a lot different now than it was back in the 80s when, as I referred to, it was such a kind of a, uh, an unknown back then. I think what's important for people to understand is that HIV and AIDS are still with us. Uh, the stigma, sadly, is still with us. And we also at GMHC continue to address the health disparities that create barriers for people living with and affected by HIV and AIDS to seek care. And some of those disparities are homophobia, transphobia, racism, sexism, stigma, violence, poverty, mental health and substance use issues. And so as we address those health disparities, we are you know, supporting people to get the care that they need uh, to get HIV testing done, to who seek out care at GMHC and medical treatment so that they can move forward with their lives. But sadly, the stigma is still with us, uh, particularly around sex and mental health 
and substance use issues and other health disparities. Can I just ask you quickly though, what's it like to be able to be back in person this year after having to be sidelined virtually for the pandemic the last two years? It is so exciting to return to Central Park. I had to do a walkthrough yesterday for a couple of folks and I literally just was moved to tears. Uh, it's the park and the thousands of people that we're expecting to walk who are raising money and uh, celebrities and the elected officials and our sponsors and our volunteers. I mean, this is a huge task to pull off a walk that will take care of close to 10,000 walkers and ensure that they have a fabulous time, which I know they will, because not only will they be running the four mile route, they can walk the four mile route, and then they come back to the band shell and they're gonna dance. And more of that dancing, more of that dancing we're talking about. Well, I just before I let you go, you know, I had the great honor of hosting a number of years um, and it, it's it's truly it's such a blessing to see so many people there, to see the enthusiasm, to see the support and to stand on that stage and look out and see thousands and thousands of people in Central Park on what's a beautiful day, whether it's raining, cloudy or sunny. It's a testament to what you have done uh, over the years and, and everyone with your organization. So continued success. We wish you the very best of luck on Sunday. And uh, Krishna, great to speak with you today. Great to speak with you. Yes, great to, to speak with you and thank you. And for those folks who still would like to uh, sign up uh, and join us or make a donation, you can go to ny.aidswalk.net. We'd love to have you. You can certainly come on the day of. Uh, you can still walk and participate in the walk. So thank you so much. Christian Stone, thank you so much. And CBS News New York will stream the opening ceremony of AIDS Walk New York on Sunday, May 15th, starting at 9.15 a.m. The ceremony will feature speakers, celebrities, and a performance. If you want more information, how you can register, go to our website, cbsnewyork.com. All the information is there.